fellow game developers. This is Unreal. Now, I know I never use Unreal, I'm always using Game Guru, and that is my main stick, but I do use other engines occasionally, I do have a play, and I've been recently trying Unreal again. And although it's just as complicated as ever, I can, I can make a few demos, like you can see here. Um, I've made a far better racing game than this in Unreal in the past, but that's gone, it's deleted, gone long years ago, and yeah, it's still good. You might not have a clue what you're doing, but you can actually make some little demos quite easily out of the box with no programming whatsoever. This demo was made basically by selecting the driving game option and then just making a slight map around it and there we go, I've got a driving game. Fair enough, you haven't got the control that you want, I mean if I went off the side of the cliff at this second it could bounce up and down and then end up on his roof and he would stay on its roof and there's no way to get off the roof. So that, there's the sort of little tweaks that you need to work out how the hell to get around, which aren't as easy as you would think. But, um, you know, that is the problem with using more advanced engines. They give you the tools. I mean, this is built in. I mean, I haven't had to do anything here. I've just made a little map and added the car. Here's my second demo, and welcome to Cape Beckinsdale Simulator. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that joke there. But the initial view was a little bit like Kate Beckinsdale in Underworld. But, you know, there we go. But, look at this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing in Unreal, but I've managed to do this. I don't know. I, I quite like it. I think it's quite amazing, to be honest. I mean, fair enough. I've just plonked a few things about. It's not exactly the, the world's greatest design. But the fact that I've got this nice third person character running around doing all these nifty animations, sort of, yeah, I, I'm quite impressed. And again, no coding at, at all at this point. No coding at all, I've just had to place things around and work out how to use the interface and how to get this third person character actually into Unreal and working. But it works fine. So, cool. And finally, this last demo, which is practically just a DLC I've downloaded and set up and made an EXE from. And oof, look at this. Absolutely awesome. I mean, Gangura users will be a. well. What can I say? Ganguru users will be like going crazy if Ganguru could get even close to this. So, no, it can't. Not even Max. Not Max has got. It's sort of got the potential, but ooh, it's got a way to go. But yeah, really nice. And all I've done here is add a few. I've changed the start location. I've added a, a somewhat well-known tune which I'm hoping won't be um, causing problems with this YouTube video because you know I'm not I'm not going for money this is not monetized but you know I, I just want the scene this to have a decent tune to it because you know it looks awesome so it deserves quality music but yeah look at this I've added some buildings, I've made the, the actual town a little bit bigger, not much, a little bit bigger, and I've added a few buildings here and there elsewhere, not that you'll see it in this particular video, but I have, but yeah, my god, Unreal is awesome, it's just ridiculously complicated, but I've still managed to make this when I don't know what I'm really doing. That's ultimately what Ganguru users want. 
Oh, and for good measure, this game actually supports a 24 hour sun system and it goes from night to day, no problem. Looks awesome. The lights come on in the night, fantastic. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.